and that's going to be kind of interesting. All right, so in this problem again, ladies and gentlemen, we just need to follow the process without talking um, of identifying. The main important thing is, you know, we like to uh, a lot of times swap f of x with y. So the same little space, I'll just rewrite it like that. And then obviously, ladies and gentlemen, as we looked at the graph, remember the function and its uh, function and its inverse is based on reflection over the y equals x axis, where all the coordinate points on the function um, are just swapped to find the coordinate points on the inverse function. So we're going to swap our variables. Now, all we need to do is solve for y. We never can solve for, we cannot solve for a variable in the denominator, so we get the variable off the denominator by multiplying by the denominator on both sides. Therefore, that divides to 1. We have to apply distributive property here, so we get yx plus x equals 2y minus 3. Whenever you're solving an equation, you can only solve an equation when your variable is on the same side. So therefore, I need to subtract the 2y on both sides and then get the x to the other side. So now I'm left with yx minus 2y is equal to um, negative x minus 3. Again, I can't combine these. They're not like terms, but I need to solve for y. So to get y by itself, I can factor out the y. Then you can see my y is being divided by x or being multiplied by x minus 2. So to undo multiplying, I will divide. So y equals negative x minus 3 divided by x minus 2. And therefore, then I re-put it back into inverse notation. And there you go. Easy 